Mark Boyle in the WREL Live Center tonight. NC State releasing uh, new test results for those cancer-causing chemicals in Po Hall. This is the information this link will bring you to this very lengthy report, more than 180 pages of details. On your screen here are some of the key points NC State is pointing out tonight. Both air and surface samples were collected with the HVAC turned off. Concentrations higher on floors 3 to 7. The next steps include more testing. The HVAC turned on, which is different, of course, and a review of building materials. The new test results uh, were out and they showed only one result out of dozens that was, in fact, above EPA standards for PCBs, according to NC State. But that's not necessarily the complete picture. Keeping in mind there, the sample environment is different from the exposure environment, Remember that HVAC on and off situation. So uh, NC State also uh, says the testing will continue to ramp up. We'll report on the details as we get it. Also, Lastly, here tonight, uh, WREL has learned from 99 reported at 6 o'clock. Now the number of reported cancer numbers and cases is up to 101 uh, in terms of people who have worked or studied there at Poe Hall. A big story, a lot of information right now on our website if you'd like to take a look this evening. Back to you. It is very staggering. Mark, thank you.